what is up y'all welcome back to the channel it's the one himself go to jlo and i'm back with another video and today i'm gonna be discussing how to play better defense in nba 2k22 now that's the problem i see everybody has including myself that i used to have nowadays i could i could clamp god up you know what i'm saying i'm out here like cash nasty you know what i'm saying so shoot but hey man first things first i want to let y'all know you can't have no low what's it called lateral quickness or low perimeter d whatnot in order to play better perimeter d you can't suspect that as well as a low wingspan so don't be crying if you got like a 50 lateral lateral 50 uh what's it called perimeter d and a t-rex arm wingspan and expect to be clamp god bro you cannot be doing that bro real talk now with all that being said hope y'all enjoyed this video as well as i'm gonna be showing a little gameplay while i explain it to as well but let's get it y'all now with this next clip that i'm showing y'all i'm basically gonna be explaining how to guard people that like the left right into a three or fadeaway type deal now what you want to do is you see what i'm doing in this clip right here i'm trying to cut off one side i'm trying to play them to the hip you know what i'm saying that way that way if they come my way i get either a bump animation or i could get a steal or they go to the other side that's like away from me I'll just follow them. I'll let go of the left trigger until I get near them. Then I'll hold the, the left trigger again. That's the key thing to uh, playing D like this. Because if you just try to play D just holding the left trigger the whole time, you're going to fail. You got to know when to let go of the left trigger. When you feel like your man is getting a little bit too far, that's when you got to let go of the left trigger. You know what I'm saying? So, and another thing too, you don't want to be too far away, especially with shooters. You got to, like, maintain a certain distance. I say, like, small to medium, but not all, not playing too tight. Only reason why you want to be tight enough is when they, like, near you and try to go in the same direction as you. That's the only time I recommend playing up close on, like, play shots, you know what I'm saying, or builds that's, like, sharpshooters and all that. Just trying to spam fadeaways. Now, with these next two clips, I'm going to be showing y'all how to play defense against somebody that could slash as well as shoot the ball averagely. You know what I'm saying? Like, you still got to respect their shot. You can't leave them wide open. Otherwise, they'll grain it. Now, you still want to keep the same principle of cutting one way off, but you want to be a little farther back than what you normally would be. You know what I'm saying? But not too far back. You want to be close enough to the point where you can at least get a 10% contest or, like, move in close as they're shooting to get some sort of a contest. And back enough of ways, so they say they try to slash straight forward with their speed and all that, you can recover quick enough to beat them to the spot. And that's what I'm doing, as you can see up in this these two clips right here. I'm staying my distance, keeping back. I get a contest. That's a good contest. Staying back, try to drive. Still get a good contest, able to beat them back to the spot. And that's basically everything that you gotta do with playing defense against like somebody that can shoot decently and slash. Now, with all that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Please let me know what y'all think about it. I know this is one of my more slower paced videos, but you know, I had to make it for the community. You know what I'm saying? It's too many people out here thinking they good, trying to play D. They hop on your team, they trash. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of getting bum randoms. I want the randoms to succeed. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. Let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments.